Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus and today is going to be a video about Babylon Battle Royale. So, I think the people who created this game were probably on some type of hallucinogenic drug of some kind when they decided let's create this game because it really is absolutely insane. Great, uh, can you guys tell me where the idea came from? <laughs> where did it come from? <laughs> well, I was, um, it actually spawned from a, a toilet bowl game that we wanted to make on VR. I wanted to make in VR, so you're on, sitting on the toilet and it's all about, you know, like pee and poop and things like that. And, um, and the more Crema just, just shuddered at the idea, the more I wanted to keep selling it. <laughs> and so eventually I changed it just enough in, uh, into what was the early stages of Babylon to where he was like, no, all right, all right, uh, there's some potential there. Especially the story. The story goes as follows. In the future, humankind has created the immortality pill and humans can live forever, they will never die. However, it's also a bit of a catch, a bit of a dystopian future because all of their babies that are born after the pill stay babies forever. So the babies are full grown intelligent, but they're in baby form. So in this future, there is a tall people world, which is all of the people who took the pill and they stayed, you know, adults. And then you've got sort of the babies, all of the babies that are born afterwards and, and they stay in baby form. And they've created their own world, Babylon, which essentially is where all of the babies go and they, that's where they live happily, supposedly happily, because the babies have dealt with so much humiliation of being a toddler rather than being tall that they kind of have created this huge battle royale coliseum arena where uh, babies fight each other. Immortal babies fighting each other. I think that the way it's done is it's supposed to sh be kind of like a uh, rustling in a sense that it's very dramatic, it's very much about the crowd as well as the arena, and so there's a lot of interaction between the two. It plays a lot with the idea of spectatorship as well as the theatricals of fighting. It's a 1v1 brawler, and you can play it on the PlayStation VR, the Oculus Rift, and the HTC Vive. And I played this last year at GDC 2017, and I really enjoyed it. Am go. I doing it right? No, but it's cool. You're winning still. <laughs> I thought it was very funny. I could see the potential of this being a game where, you know, you're out with your friends, you're having some drinks and, you know, you want to play some VR that's kind of funny. And this is it, immortal babies fighting each other. And it's also kind of fun for other people who, you know, are watching because if, if you play it on the screen, it's, it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. What I did think whilst playing the game, I was thinking, this doesn't necessarily have to be a VR game. The concept of it is so great and so funny. It could just also be played just normally on any console like Xbox or PlayStation and kind of be this funny multiplayer, you know, fighter game where you guys try to knock each other out. I played it this year at E3 2018 and I played it on the Oculus Rift. It was a very different experience this time, probably because the game broke when I played it. I was playing against another girl and I couldn't really interact with all of the different elements. So let me, let me paint the scene for you. You've got the arena, you play as a baby, you kind of have a different cart that has two hands. With these hands you can smash, you can attack, or you can pick up objects in the arena that kind of pop up. So it looks like there's bombs and there's different types of weapons that you can use against each other. However, whilst I played it, I couldn't interact with any of the objects or any of the weapons whatsoever. There seem to be three different layers, there's three different modes where you can kind of jump up and hover and then, you know, keep going above. So there were technically, I would say something like three different arenas because you could stay and hover up there if, if you kept pressing the hover button. The game was over very, very quickly and I didn't experience any of the spectator mode and I came back a little bit, I suppose, disappointed. I was, you know, I was looking forward to maybe trying out more characters, seeing different worlds and different arenas. What was kind of cool was during the game or during the battle, uh, the arena floor suddenly dropped and broke and then suddenly you went down and crashed into another one. It'd be really cool if, you know, at the very end of it, maybe the game isn't really finished and it's not really close to it yet, um, but I feel like a lot of work still needs to be done in order for this game, you know, to, to, to be really successful and to succeed. 
Having said that, I do think that this is the first VR game that I've seen that really tries to interact with the audience. And I really applaud Kite and Lightning for trying this out because spectatorship and VR, you know, everyone's trying to figure out how to do this with esports and virtual reality, how to make it a spectatorship virtual reality experience game. And if you can make the audience be part of the arena and you can make them interact with the players who are in it in some way, shape or form, I think, I think that's worth, you know, worth trying out. We also have spectators, so you can always spectate the match um, in every arena and stage that you fight in. And as a spectator, you can cheer and boo the people that you're a fan of or not a fan of, and like, you know, bet on matches and like throw items or chairs or weapons into the arena, like WWE style. So I'm going to be completely honest, I have no idea when this game is going to be coming out. They said it was coming out this year when I interviewed them last year. So I think there's a little bit of a delay by the sounds of it. I'm not quite sure. VR Focus is going to tell you when the game is coming out and how much it's going to be. We already know that it's coming to all of the high-end VR headsets, so stay tuned. And let me know what you think. Do you like the world? Do you think that this type of, you know, brawler is necessary for virtual reality? Would you want to watch this type of arena game if you were a spectator? Do you think that this game should exist in virtual reality or do you think it works fine just as it is if it's just kind of like a brawler and you're just sitting there watching the characters play? You, you're not you know exactly looking around you uh, and you know let me know what you think about spectatorship and virtual reality if you're there and you're watching the game you can interact with it is this something that you would like to watch and maybe be part of thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and if you want to hear more about babylon battle royale head over to vrfocus.com and we will let you know the latest news